I'm going to show you left hand fretting technique for bass. The left hand is really important on bass because without it we would only get four notes, E, A, D, G, the open strings, but because we can press down on all of these fretted areas we can get more like 80 to 100 notes depending on how many frets you have on your bass. So it's really cool, it does a lot of good stuff, and I'm going to show you how to do it well. So here's the lowdown on left hand technique. You want to use all four of your fingers, okay, index, middle, ring, and pinky. Even though it's going to feel weak at first, it will get used to playing bass and you'll be able to use it just as good as any other finger. Uh, your thumb should be nice and relaxed, kind of chilling on the middle of the back of the neck, so not up here, okay, and not off in space. You want it touching the neck but not pressing into it, so just nice and relaxed flowing around the neck. Your fingers should be perpendicular to the strings or parallel to the fret wires, six of one, half a dozen of the other, um, rather than slanted like this, okay? So you wanna aim for basically perpendicular. You're gonna be a little bit more slanted when you're further away from your body, but you don't want this. You still want relatively perpendicular. It's really important for a number of reasons. Uh, when you're actually fretting notes, you want to aim for the middle towards the end of the fret, okay? So let's say I'm playing on the third fret. I don't want to fret here because it's going to sound like this. So if that's not the sound you're trying to make, you want to move towards the middle or the end of the fret. The reason for that is you get a stronger angle of contact on the fret wire the closer you are to it. So you can even be almost all the way up on the fret wire as long as you don't go past it because then you'll start getting the next note, which is not what you want. So middle towards the end of the fret is what you're aiming for when you fret notes on bass all across the board. The overall goal with left hand technique on bass is to be as relaxed as possible. So you want to mimic what your body is like when you're at your most relaxed. So if your arms are just hanging at your sides, you got a loose shoulder, a loose elbow, relaxed wrist, and your fingers are gently curled, right? Your hand doesn't tend to go like this. You actually have to tense it to do that. This is more relaxed than this. So this is what you're shooting for when you play bass. Nice, relaxed, curled forward fingers. A little bit of curl in the wrist sometimes, depending on where you are, what shapes you need to make with your fingers. But you want to avoid backwards angles and straightness and stuff when you don't need it because it's a waste of effort. And you also want to be able to move fluidly up and down the neck so you don't want a lot of extra friction, which means don't grip with your thumb, nice relaxed thumb, and also don't contact the neck here on your palm, especially on the index finger side, people tend to do that. So you see I have some, some negative space here between the neck and my hand. I'm only touching with my fingertips that I'm fretting with and my thumb. I'm not touching with my palm here. Um, and there's a whole cluster of issues you can avoid by keeping your palm off the neck. Because if I put my palm on the neck, all of a sudden my fingers are at backward angles, they're twisted towards my body, and it's hard to use my pinky because it's being pulled away from the neck. So if you don't do that, you can get the perpendicular thing, the all four fingers thing, and the relaxed forward curve thing all happening at once, which is really great. One last technical thing is actually about terminology, because we use the words up and down in a very specific way on the bass, and I like to tell my students this so that they can sound like they know what they're talking about, um, and also be less confused when I'm telling them what to do. So going this direction is actually going up a string. The reason for that is we use the words up and down related to pitch, not related to gravity. So the E string is a lower pitched string than the A string, the D string, or the G string. So if I say to go up a string from the E string, I mean to go up to the A string because this note is lower than this note, okay? E string is lower than the A string, lower than the D string, which is lower than the G string. So this is up a string, this is down a string. As you can see, it's reversed from gravity as you would normally be oriented playing bass unless you're playing bass in a handstand, um, but you just have to deal with it. It's actually a lot simpler because it's always about pitch. It's very consistent. And same thing with frets. This is going up a fret, up the neck, okay, because I'm going to higher, higher notes. This is going down the neck because I'm going down to lower pitch notes. So we don't care about gravity when we're playing bass, it's all about the direction of the pitch. So this is up frets, this is up strings, this is going down a string, this is going down a fret. Okay, makes sense? That's how we do it. Now I'm gonna show you how to play a bass groove where we're gonna practice using all four of our fingers 
and some of the other stuff I talked about in musical context. Before I teach it to you, let's just take a listen and get it in our ear. Okay, so this one came out a little weird, kind of an indie prog fusion experiment, but what are you going to do? Music is a peculiar mistress. So here's how you play this thing. This uh, is almost as though this was written by a bass teacher, because it's going to be a great exercise for using all four of your left hand fingers. So we're going to start with the ninth fret on the E string with our index finger. So get your index finger, find the ninth fret, which on your bass is probably the fourth dot down. You probably have third, fifth, seventh, and ninth dotted. So this is your last single dot before the double dot. Okay, so index finger, ninth fret of the E string. Then we go, stay in that position, just put your middle finger down on the 10th fret, and then your ring finger down on the 11th fret, and your pinky down on the 12th fret. So we're just going ninth, 10th, 11th, 12th frets with each finger, index, middle, ring, and pinky. Okay, let's try plucking those together. Don't really worry about rhythm, just kind of give it a pluck or two as we go. So ninth fret with the index finger, pluck that a couple times. 10th fret with the middle finger, pluck that a bit. Uh, ring finger on the 11th fret, pluck, 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 pluck. And then pinky on the 12th fret, pluck, 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 pluck. You see I'm keeping my fingers down as I do that. That's some high tech, um, uh, te technique efficiency stuff that you don't have to worry about if you just started playing. Your hand might look more like this. Okay, your fingers might be coming up as you go. Don't worry about that for now if you're just starting out. Um, we'll talk more about that in a bit. Okay, so those are the first four notes of this line. Just ninth, 10th, 11th, 12th fret on the E string. Next, we're gonna do the same thing on the A string. Ninth fret with the index, 10th fret with the middle, 11th fret with the ring, and 12th fret with the pinky. And that's the whole bass line. So we're just going back and forth between the E and the A string, going 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, with pinky, or sorry, index, middle, ring, pinky, index, middle, ring, pinky. So, wowie, this is what happens when your bass teacher writes music for you. It's a perfect technical exercise to use all four of your fingers in order. Okay, so let's try playing this together um, at a nice slow pace before we bring in the track. I'm going to count one, two, three, four, and then we're going to start playing together. And we're going to play uh, what's called half notes, which means we're going to pluck on one and three, okay? So we're going to go, I'll just demonstrate once. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then to the A string, same thing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So here I'm plucking on one and three every time, so each note lasts for two counts. The first note lasts through one and two, second note lasts through three and four, and then we repeat the count. Got it? Let's try that even slower than I just did it. Ready? So starting with the index on the ninth fret of the E string, 9, 10, 11, 12, then A string, same thing. One, two, three, four. Ninth fret, two, tenth, four. Eleventh, two, twelfth, four. A string, same thing, ninth fret, two, 10th fret, 4, 11th fret, 2, 12th fret, again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, let's end on our starting note, boom. Okay, nice. So right hand pattern on this, we haven't talked about yet. It's slow enough that you could actually use your index finger only to pluck this whole thing. Okay, so if alternating is too much for you, you can always just go back to that for now. What you eventually wanna do for practice purposes on this is practice alternating. So you're going index, middle, index, middle, index, middle, index, middle, repeat, index, middle, index, middle, index, middle, index, middle. So just alternating strictly. Um, works out really well because we've got four notes on each string, so you just go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. It's an easy pattern to repeat. So that's what we're shooting for. Again, you can just go index finger with the right hand because what we're really focusing on is using all four of our fingers with the left hand. And again, we're shooting for perpendicular, okay, so not slanty fingers because that pulls the pinky away from where it wants to get. No contact with the palm. Nice relaxed thumb. Gentle forward angles in the wrist and the fingers. Just everything feeling nice and relaxed as much as possible. If you're just starting on bass, it's not gonna feel that relaxed, but it will over time, okay? 
Here we go playing along with the track. We're gonna do this at a slow speed, a medium speed, and then the full speed that you heard in our little sneak peek earlier. Okay, so here we go at the slow speed, four clicks, and then we're in. Two, three, four. Ninth fret, 10th fret, 11th fret, 12th fret to the A string. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, onwards we go to the medium speed, a little bit faster, and remember, if you ever need more practice time at the slow speeds, we've got extended audio play-alongs at BassBuzz.com. You can jam along for a longer time. You don't have to like rewind the video over and over. Okay, so here's the medium speed. One, two, three, four. 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 Three, four. Keep your thumb as relaxed as you can on the back of the neck. Fingers perpendicular. Nice and gentle curves everywhere. Okay, let's take this to the full speed and we're gonna play along a little bit longer this time now that we're at full rock and tempo. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 So there's a lot of stuff to think about with bass left hand technique and there's a lot of stuff we didn't even get into today because you just can't do it all at once. It's way too much stuff. You just have to do your best and then refine over time, which is something that I continue to do after a decade and a half of playing. So I hope you had fun. Thanks for playing with me and I'll see you next time. Yeah. <laughs>